You having fun out there? Absolutely. Uh, spring was was kind of heavy on the head. Just learned the playbook. Um, so coming out to practice, just thinking a lot. So now that it's summer, um, and I've, I've been here for a little bit now, I'm able to understand the playbook a lot better. So it's becoming a lot more fun. I'm out there. I'm able to go out there and just play ball, um, not have to think as much. Um, just be me. When did the uh, lack of th less th overthinking, I guess, kind of start. Was it at the start of, of camp here? Did that happen late in the spring? When did things kind of start to slow down for you? Uh, honestly, I think it was our summer workouts. Um, our skills and drills helped me a lot. Um, it, it gave me enough time and, uh, and, and like outside of being at the facility to go over the playbook and kind of learn it and understand it. So uh, the start of fall was a lot easier for me than I expected it to be. I wouldn't say easier like physically, but easier on myself mentally. Where do you think you've made the greatest strides fundamentally and technically since you got here? Um, fundamentally, uh, uh, just ball location. Um, that's kind of been a big emphasis for me. So even on check downs, putting it in the front hip and hand, um, giving, giving our playmakers a chance to to get some yak, yards after contact, yards after catch, um, just giving them the best opportunity to get the most out of the play. What if um, taking from the scrimmage is okay. like, you know, a little more wide, um, playing wide, what's that been like you know, when you guys are in green jerseys a lot? Uh, I, I kind of like being live. Uh, it's, it's, it's fun and I think it's more realistic so it makes you play a lot better. Um, your height and awareness is through the roof when you're live. You got a bunch of big guys coming trying to trying to tackle you and trying to hurt you. So uh, your height and awareness is, is really high. So I think that makes me play a lot better. Um, but I think it's a lot more fun, so I like it. You mentioned the amount of playmakers you guys have on offense. How much does that do for you as a young guy uh, if you get pressed into action? How, does that give you a comfort level at all? That gives me tons of confidence. The guys around me give me confidence through the roof. I know um, they're going to help the quarterback look good. And at times I'm gonna try to help them look good, but if I make a bad play or a bad throw, they're gonna make me look good and uh, uh, put us in a good position to win. So when if I'm ever thrown out in the fire, I'm super confident in the guys I have around me. Speaking of the playmakers, um, it seems like Hakeem's come on the past week. Coach Nevels also the past seven days. It's kind of, what, what have you seen from him the last week that's kind of um, made him look like he's adjusted and ready for this level? Hakeem's development, uh, I'd say, is similar to mine probably with the mindset or the mental part of it too just learning the playbook so he's a lot more comfortable I'd, I'd assume so um, he's able to go out there and just have fun like like I am now um, so uh, it's taking some of some off of him mentally and allowing him to physically play better and he's he's been outstanding during the, during the recruiting process you said that you thought the system was similar to what you, you ran before now that you've seen a lot more of it um, has it been challenging to, to pick it up or, or has it been pretty seamless uh, just the terminology has been a little challenging to pick it up but uh, overall concept wise it's super similar um, we actually ran a play today that's identical to a play that was my favorite play at Lausanne so um, it's it's very similar just the bur the, um, the terminology is a lot different so just memorization was a big thing for me and so that once you once you get that down you feel like you can just be yourself yes sir absolutely once I get it down um, I don't have to worry about anything mentally I just go out and play ball and, and, and do what I've always done. Being able to walk from Jordan, how much you feel like that's going to help you this year and the rest of your career at Florida State? Jordan's helped me tremendously, um, absolutely tremendously. Uh, him and I are very close off the field, so we spend a lot of time together just getting to, getting to watch how, how good of a human being he is to others. He always says hi. Um, he, he's never too high, never too low. Super humble guy. And then obviously on the field, he's the best player on the field, best player in the country. So just getting to learn from him is awesome. Um, we all make mistakes, but I watch how he learns from the mistakes, and it's a, it's different from anything I've ever seen. Um, he always he always corrects himself, and and rarely makes. Actually, I don't think he makes the same mistake ever. So he always learns, um, and that's been awesome to watch. Some, some of the throws he he made he made today. Do you guys are you impressed sometimes, even though you've been around him so much? Absolutely. Sometimes when he'll make a throw. Coach Tokarts and I and the other quarterbacks will look back and be like, golly. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's super fun to watch him. You, you mentioned Jordan not making the same mistake twice. Like Coach Ravel said something similar about you uh, the other day. I guess what goes into to that as a quarterback learning from, from those mistakes and not letting them kind of get to you? Uh, I think with every mistake is a huge opportunity to grow. So that's kind of how I look at it. And I think I learn the best from mistakes because you're going to get yelled at. Um, so you're always going to remember. Um, so... Mistakes help me a lot uh, 
like in terms of growing because I, I just know not to do that again. Can you get back on that question? You know, you guys have that giant video board in practice, and sometimes the relative kind of takes you over and talks, shows you how to play tough right. You know, how much does that help to see in practice and again later in film? That helps tremendously because sometimes you think you see something. And then you watch it on the video board, like you said, and it's a tad bit different. Um, so sometimes it helps you explaining to coach. Sometimes uh, that it, it it hurts you a little bit, but uh, either way, you learn from it. Uh, so that's helped me a lot, and I'm super thankful um, that we have the, the the funds and technology to be able to do that because that helps us tremendously. You, I mean, you're a confident guy. All you guys are. But was there a point in the spring where you felt like, okay, man, I can do this at this level? Um, I just say every practice I gain more and more confidence, but I think that just came, comes with reps. Um, I'm big on getting reps because I think that's the best way to learn. So the more the more reps I have and I've had, the better I think I've been able to perform.